Trent Graybill and I'm from Zilla, Washington and I'm a first generation cherry farmer. And I married into a farming family um, for it was a several generation farmer and um, my father-in-law basically said you need to come to some seminars with me and got me excited about um, ag and specifically soil fertility and nutrition and soil biology and improving yields and things like that um, through understanding agronomy. It's definitely been pretty tough from strictly a growing standpoint um, on my own. Thankfully I have my uh, father-in-law that's helped me a lot um, as far as you know giving me pointers and things to do and not to do and you know being able to bounce ideas and questions and even um, leasing equipment from him and things like that because you know with a few acres it's pretty hard to I guess afford buying equipment and stuff unless you have a you know a bunch of cash saved up somewhere which I didn't um, and so having the second job um, which is ultimately my passion and so um, but it obviously helps me with the farming side because now I can use my own farm to experiment and trial different techniques and products and things like that. Some of the biggest things that I've gained from interacting with lots of growers through my primary business um, is just being able to bounce ideas off of them as far as um, new technologies when it comes to orchard training systems, um, different varieties, rootstocks, you know, what types of things have they experienced, good or bad. Probably the most exciting area for me is is what we're learning about pests and disease um, and insects and how they can be influenced by nutrition by fertility management and one of the most exciting things that I saw this year was um, specifically with things such as aphids and we found that um, through different guys that I work with and some research that um, aphids are attracted to high nitrate within the plant sap and so some of the mineral nutrition that affect high nitrate would be things like magnesium molybdenum and so we did um, molybdenum applications foliar sprays and also through drip and we found within several days the aphids left and never came back so it's exciting because you know we're figuring out slowly um, what the actual reasons are why some of these insects come or why things such as powdery mildew and things show up um, and so instead of just killing them or you know I like to use the term uh, using a band-aid or instead of medicating the problem we go to the root of the problem and try to figure out what's actually attracting these things and how can we correct that issue and then therefore prevent some of these issues. Looking back I would probably tell young growers um, to just spend as much time as they can learning from you know the older farmers guys that have years of experience and um, just paying attention to them asking them questions um, and maybe even uh, you know getting a job for a farmer and just working for them for a few years to get um, some of the hands-on because you know, I started out and just dove right into it and had never actually, you know, done the farming. I'd been around it, but I hadn't actually done it. And it's a little bit different actually, you know, running a farm versus being around someone running a farm. And so, um, yeah, just learn all you can from those that are doing it and then take, you know, their successes and um, also their failures and you know try to use that to you know the best of your ability and to not be afraid you know my father-in-law has always been the type to try try new things not be afraid of new technologies you know he likes to say keep an open mind but not so open that your brains fall out so <laughs>